Hello, Traders D7 here with FreeTradingVideos.com. I had somebody ask about doing a update on the SPX and what's going on in the markets. And as you know, crazy day today. And this is a follow-up from a couple videos I've been doing. Uh, nice symmetrical triangle, a breakdown, do doji, which looks to be a continuation doji. We head down, we get a hammer. And um, look at this, we get these hammers down here. I want to pay special attention. Well, first, what is a hammer? It's a candlestick pattern that has a lower shadow twice the size of the body with little to no upper shadow. And that's precisely what we have here. That's a hammer. And um, you know, kind of a hammer here, um, a little bigger shadow than what I'd like, but we certainly have two or more times the body. And if, if we go back, there's a hammer. They look like hammers. And a way to look at a hammer is they hammer out the bottom, and things tend to go up afterwards. So you get a hammer here, long shadow. What, what does that long shadow tell us? It tells us the bears yanked it down, they pulled it down, they pulled it down, they pulled it down, but they couldn't keep it down. The bulls come rushing in, they yank it right back up, showing weakness on the bears, showing power to the bulls, and then you get a run up. See this lower shadow? A run up. Lower shadow? A run up. Let's look at these lower shadows here. Run up. Lower shadow? Run up. Lower shadows? Run up. Lower shadow? Run up. Lower shadows? Draw your own conclusion here. What do you think is going to happen? I think that there's a good possibility that we'll be going up here. So um, anyway, let's just keep an eye on it. We could get a gap down and a, a quick reversal to the upside. Pre-market, if you look at the S&P, or I'm sorry, the NASDAQ, it's, it's prone to doing that. Big gap down and a run up, you know, when it finds a bottom somewhere. How long will it last? Maybe one day, maybe two, hitting its head on the 20-day moving average? Or we may not move up yet. Listen, we're getting lower highs and lower lows on the candlestick still. So this is a down leg still going down. What I do know is today, in the last hour and a half of the day, the bulls come rushing back in. So do I expect an update tomorrow? The answer is yes, I do expect it. But do I have long positions going? No. I day traded today. I day traded short. I did not catch the last hour. I did not go bullish and catch the up ride. So um, anytime we're in a sideways market, look at this, sideways and sideways. We've been in this training range. We're just going sideways. Are we pinching slightly? We were and then we broke out. But this is called a training range. We're at the bottom of the training range. What's interesting is we're below 1326. I thought if we cracked 1330 we'd head down to 13 pretty fast. I thought we were seeing that today. We come you know just racing back to the um, the upside. So I, I fully expect to see a pop soon. We could get yet another one. See how we had two lower shadows? We could have two. We could have three. We could not go up at all. We could continue down past 1300. Anything can happen. I just think probability tells us that we should head up here, and I'll only play it if, in fact, I see that happen. So anyway, there you have it. Happy trading. Be safe out there in the markets, and never, ever, ever trade without a stop loss. Take care.